Now, the World Health Organization categorizes gaming addiction now as a mental health condition. It's a decision that's causing clashes already between the medical profession and the gaming industry. Our Won Jung Hwan has more. The WHO has included gaming disorders in its international classification of diseases, along with other disorders, such as gambling, amid growing global concerns about computer gaming addiction. The medical sector defined the disorder as a pattern of behavior characterized by impaired control over gaming that is evident for more than 12 months and significantly impairs everyday life. Of course, we cannot diagnose that you have a problem for just a day or two, weeks or even months. We see this as a disease for those who are suffering for more than 12 months. South Korea's medical industry has welcomed the WHO's move as it could help health professionals prevent and treat the problems stemming from the disorder. According to recent research, there are some 20 percent of people in their 20s to 50s who are actively playing games. So far, there is a lack of evidence for a specific drug or a specific program to effectively support them if they need help. That is why we need these clear new guidelines so that we can engage in clinical tests and active health-related research. But the gaming industry is against the WHO's new guidelines. It claims the guidelines will cause a loss of over 9.2 billion U.S. dollars and 20 percent of the industry's jobs within three years of their implementation. The industry also claims that the move will deprive children of their rights, highlighting Article 31st of the United Nations Convention on Rights of the Child. We are concerned that teenagers will feel a sense of guilt when playing video games. They have the right to enjoy their gaming culture. We feel it is unfair to categorize some teenagers by certain criteria which are very unclear diagnostic measures. The culture ministry has also said it cannot accept the WHO's decision. The ministry argued that young people engage in compulsive gaming activities not simply because of games themselves but because of other factors such as stress at school and lack of social support from teachers and peers. In response to the WHO decision, a committee representing the gaming industry will hold a press event on Wednesday at the National Assembly to outline its moves against the decision, raising concerns that the gaming industry and medical sector are set for more clashes in the future. Won Jong-un, Arirang News.